Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And that was weird. <laughs> and we are finishing, oh boy, not again. We are finishing our um, project, reaching a thousand hours to get the achievement because, well, just watch the first 15 minutes of video one and I don't need to repeat myself. Um, my previous flight ended sooner than I had been anticipated, so we have 88 hours left to complete. That's only four full days of flying. Four full days will get us 96 hours, which is eight hours more than we need. But we're going to aim for about 96 hours. That way, um, I know we'll for sure go over a thousand, maybe even hit the achievement. We did not get the 500 hour achievement until I hit 600 hours. So hopefully we'll get the 1000 hour achievement at a thousand hours. That would sure be nice. Um, ended the previous video by complaining about performance. This is the next day IRL, so performance might be a disaster. Um, again, everybody's having the problem, not just me. But this is recorded mid-December, so maybe that has been resolved by now. But performance right now is fantastic. I know we're still on the ground, but um, this weather's insane. <laughs> and it's perfectly smooth and perfectly fine, so whatever. Um, it's like 12.30 p.m. because we are in very northern Canada, Fort Good Hope. We're going to fly south and then loop around the ocean a few times till we get our 1,000 hours total in the sim. I'm just enjoying sunrise at 12.30 p.m. And then sunset up here, I think, is like 2 p.m. or something. Fort Good Hope. And this is the McKenzie River. And I do have a plan for this flight. We're not just going to aimlessly... Oh, how do I get back here? <laughs> I changed my keyboard and set up. We're not going to aimlessly fly like I have in some of the other videos. Um, but we'll talk about that. Holy moly. We will talk about that once we're in the air. What does alerts say here? Parking brake, I know. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get in the air, and then we'll set heading bug self, and then I'll set up a GPS track and everything. So let's get autopilot. Whoops, wrong one. Let's get autopilot set up. What's my autopilot settings? There it is. Jeez, I changed this airplane last time. First heading bug, we want to go south. So let's move this all the way to the south. Well, actually, south, southeast, to be honest, because we don't want to hit the mountains to our west. So let's just put the heading bug like that till we get a GPS track set up. And we're going to go. We don't need to go very high this time. I think we'll be fine at, like, only 3,000. So let's go to 5,000. Um, I don't think we need to go that high. Like, we're only 260 feet above sea level anyway. All right, there's 5,000. Oops, that's 7,000. What the heck happened? Maybe it's foreshadowing and we're going to go to 7,000. There's 5,000 beyond the barometer. Okay. We'll go up to 5,000. We'll follow the heading bug for now until I get GPS set up. So there's flight director. There's heading. Vertical speed. Um, did not vertical speed not click? I think I hit the wrong one. Vertical speed. Let's do 800 feet per minute. Why not? And there you go. That's what we need to do to set up. Everything is good. I don't think we need icing, or do we? Negative 23. We are going to turn on what, pitot heat and icing. That's icing light, sorry. Icing itself is over here. Icing, anti-speed, ice, anti-speed. Too low for ice protection. Yeah, it'll be fine once we get in the air. I think it's brain stuff and it's not doing any good. That's what it means. Anyway, here we go. Um, fly flaps. Flaps on where the flaps? I can't remember. They're down there. Flaps one, short snowy runway, road weather is turned on. And um I'll let this thing spool up because I don't know if there's enough runway. I didn't really check, I just assumed. Um this is the SR22, obviously, which has been enhanced by working title as of Sim Update 14. And we'll see how performance goes here. Whoa, and rotate, we missed it. There it is. Boom. Alright, brakes to stop the wheels, gears fixed. And performance is already a bummer. Probably because of the weather. No, nope, not smooth. See? Oh, jeez. But as we talked about in the previous video, I used to be able to fly any plane in any crazy weather with any terrain and or urbanization below us. And it was never a problem for three years. And not a problem, but it's not just me. On the forums, everybody's complaining. So, not just me. All right, here we go. Let's engage autopilot now. And we'll autopilot take over. And we'll enjoy the map as it... um. 
turns colors where it's at, wherever it's safe. So hopefully it'll be turned south. I have to turn more south than that. Um, hopefully this turns green as it should be because when I check sky vector, that's only like 3,000 feet for all this red stuff. 3,500 even. So I already predicted that 5,000 feet should be fine for our entire trip that we're going to do. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. I'll just keep it zoomed in so I can see. Alrighty, so what are we going to do? Oh my gosh, first of all, we want way more south-southeast than that. The world is curved, folks. So we need more than it looks like on the map. I'm going to keep turning here. I want to be safe. I know we'll look outside, don't worry. I just want to make sure we're going to be safe and not hit the Canadian Rockies right here. Those are definitely above our cruising altitude. So again, the Mackenzie River. Let's just follow the river a little bit. And then um, I'll tell you what we're going to do in a minute. I'm just checking this river on Google Maps. Yeah, we can follow that river. Oh, yeah. We can follow that river. Uh, yeah, until it goes into the bay. Or the, no, lake. Great, I can't see my eyes are too bad. Great lake something. And then we'll head down. Okay, so that's that. We're not going to crash. See, it's already looking better. It's already looking better. We can follow that river all the way to the lake. See? Boo -doo 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 -doo. All right. All right, let's have a look outside. See how good or bad it is. Actually, let's turn icing back on first. Icing, no icing's on. It wasn't an alert right away. Okay, good. Well, I'm just playing with everything because I can. It's fun. All right, cool. All right, let's hop outside. See, not performance is just fine. See? I don't know what to tell you. Look at, see, that's perfect. All right, let's take a screenshot of that just in case I forget to take one later. All right, this is beautiful. There is Fort Good Hope right there. Mackenzie River, which you'll see in the background, disappears a little bit, then it comes back again. So we'll just follow this for a little ways because it's beautiful. There's our sunrise. The sun is just going to go from here to there. That's it. That's all the sun we're going to get at first. And as we head south, we'll get more sun. But, um, yeah, so there you go. Nice and smooth. Look how perfectly smooth this is, even with all this crazy weather. See if that's the way it's supposed to be. All my settings are cranked. And I even tested things when it was bad. I tested things when all my settings were all the way down. It was still bad. Okay, here we go. GPS, what are we going to do on this trip? I'm actually just going to show you, I think, on Sky Vector? Google Maps. Let's use Google Maps. So if I bring this over here, I don't think there's any personal information on this screen other than my logo. <laughs> Who cares? All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start up here. Fort Good Hope. We're going to fly along. Actually, that's not. This is the Canadian Rockies. No, this is all the Canadian Rockies. That goes into the regular Rockies. No, it isn't. This is the Canadian Rockies. What's that mountain range called? Mackenzie Mountains. That's what this is called. The Mackenzie Mountains, which makes sense. That's the Mackenzie River. Canadian Rockies are down here, which I knew. So there we go. Mackenzie Mountains. So this is our plan, starting to Fort Good Hope. And we'll come down here. Our first waypoint will be Minneapolis. Because of the curve of the Earth, it's probably going to go like this. And even if we get to this area here, I think your highest point is 3,500 feet. So I don't have to worry about terrain. We can come around here, Minneapolis, and then we're going to go to Laredo, Texas. Why? Because we get to follow I-35 basically from the beginning until the end. It really begins in Duluth, but close enough. And then from there, we're going to hop over to Cancun. And then I'm going to find some waypoints along the coast of Brazil so we can avoid the mountains in this plane. And then I'm going to see what the train is here. We're going to fly over the Amazon, probably fly down here. And then we'll cut back. Cape Town, South Africa, and then cut north up here somewhere, maybe Egypt, and then that will probably be our 96 hours. If I need to add more time, I'll just pick something, I don't know, over here, over the ocean, because the train gets pretty high here, and then that will just finish up our 96 hours. So that's my plan. I'm probably going to change it a bunch, though, so who knows if that's what it'll really be. But anyway... Looking ahead, let's zoom this thing out all the way. And yeah, see, as long see, we're already high enough for this. Yep, so if I do come over here with the curve of the earth, we'll be fine. As long as I avoid the Canadian Rockies. And of course, we'll easily avoid the Rockies if we're heading to Minneapolis. 
So there you go. That's your flight plan. I'm going to put in the GPS. And um, I'll show it to you when it's in there. Oh my gosh. So hang on, hang on. Let's not miss this. Let's not miss any of this. Let's take some more screenshots here. So this looks high, but that's only 3,200 feet, I think I said. And I looked it up earlier. This is beautiful. With the sunrise, you know, it looks like a sunset. Performance is perfect. Perfect frame rates with crazy weather. So I don't know what's going on when it isn't working, because it's working fine now. Granted, we're in a rural area, but that's never affected us. Rural, urban, never been a problem. Look how beautiful that is. There's the McKenzie River again coming through right there. And can we see the McKenzie Mountains? No, because we're covered by storms. Otherwise, we would be able to see them, I'm sure. So, all right, I want to put in our GPS track, and then I'll show it to you on the map. And we'll continue flying here. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. Let's get the timer started first. And now we will know when our 96 hours are up. Although for me, it's going to be my fourth morning, my fifth morning. <laughs> it's like bedtime. It's morning somewhere else. Morning here. That's why I said that. My fifth night. So this is my first night in real life. And then one, two, three, four more nights or my fifth night will be 96 hours. So anyway, um, there we go. 20 seconds. We can turn that off. And what's your advisory saying? We don't need icing. It's been on too long or something. I don't know. Alrighty, now timer's going. I'm gonna start my GPS track. And I thought for a second the frame rates are bad. Nope. And then I'll show you my plan. You'll see it pop up here in just a moment. And there you go. Half an hour later, I have my plan in here. Um, basically, it takes us around the world. Pretty much starts here, you know, in Fort Good Hope, Canada. Goes all the way around the world, while down and around, and then ends up in Hawaii, which should be well more than 96 hours away. Um, with the twists and turns and everything I put in. So anyway, there you go. I wanted to go to Laredo first, so I had to put in direct to Minneapolis to get started. So let's put the flight plan away. There we go. And that is weird. Okay, so it's showing us around the world. <laughs> We're coming down here. Do to do we're gonna hit Laredo, we're gonna go to some of the Caribbean, which is funny because as you watch this the Caribbean world update is probably out now, but as I record this, it's not out. Um, I'm actually gonna be finishing my 1,000 hours one day be two days before Christmas. That's the plan, that's what's happening. So that's how long ago I recorded this, that's how far ahead I am. So I am saying that because we're gonna fly through the Caribbean, even though you're you probably haven't updated Caribbean. I don't, whatever. Fly across Amazon to the southern part of Brazil, and then we lose it. So let me bring this back. So we're gonna fly across Amazon, come down here, hit some islands, there's a bunch of islands. We're gonna hit a bunch of these little islands, bam, 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 bam. Um, Cape Town, we're gonna go around South Africa to Madagascar. We're gonna go around Madagascar, and there's all these little islands. We're gonna zigzag and hit all these little islands that you can't see. And then we're gonna come through the Philippines and hit all these islands, go around Papa. Oh no, then we're gonna come down here and hit Australia, a few parts of the world in Australia. And then a few more islands, do to do to do, zigzag on islands, and then come up here and end up in Hawaii. So we started here, right there. We're gonna come down and fly around the world and end up here. So like I said, that should be plenty. That should be way more than 96 hours um, for me. We'll just have to see. You can see we start there and there. We'll just have to see. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's less than 96 hours. I'm gonna have to. Um, gonna have to add some points. But given is eight hours. Well, here we go. Estimated time and route 119 hours. So that's. I mean, it's only 20 hours more, or so, than. Interesting. We're slowing down. It's only like 20 hours, 24 hours more than I need. So if the wind changes, that might not be enough. I don't know. We'll have to find out. So anyway, I made sure that oh, I brought us up to 7,000 because in Brazil, there's this teeny tiny little hill that we were going to run right over. That was 6,000 feet or something. So I had to raise this up. 
So anyway, that's the plan. I'm gonna let this thing fly. Um, how's weather doing now? Weather is fine. Be pre on the barometer. See, look. This me think performance. Oh, that was kind of weird, but over here it's fine. I don't know, whatever. I'm going to try not to talk anymore about performance in this video because it's all over the place. It's inconsistent, which makes it difficult to figure out when it's inconsistent. And everybody's having the problem, no matter how much better their rig is in mine, they're still having problems. So hopefully I'm done talking about performance. And again, by the time you watch this, it could be done. Could not be a problem. And oh my gosh, are we looking at... Well, that's sunrise still. Okay, I was going to say what in the world. Anywho, that's all I've got to say to introduce this video and our plan. We're just going to do a little bit of sightseeing here and there. I'll jump in with 24, 48, 72 hour updates if I can. Sightseeing in between if I'm awake and at the computer. Otherwise, I'll see you at the first update. And, um, yeah, this is our sixth video in this project, so you know the plan. Let's see if I can remember the plan. And you hear my voice in about 24 hours for me, which is like five minutes for you, maybe less.
Well, it is time for a 24 hour update, although it feels like it's already been 96 hours. <laughs> I have a long way to go, but that's because there's so much beautiful sightseeing on the way with the icy plains of Canada, Minneapolis, of course, and St. Paul, and then seeing um, Haiti. And it, yeah, that Haiti sightseeing, which you just saw, I think. Oh my gosh, that was the most beautiful sightseeing I have seen in a very long time. But can you guess where we are now? Do you know what this is? See that runway right off the nose? Princess Juliana. Um, I put it over Princess Juliana. Caribbean. By the time you watch this, the Caribbean World Update should be out very soon. And then I'll be doing the bush trips for that. There's Puerto Rico. Or Puerto Rico. Yeah, I screwed that up. Puerto Rico. Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Cuba. Those are the bush trips in the next update, which may be out as you watch this. So as, as beautiful as the sightseeing was for Haiti, it's going to be even better for the bush trips. There is Princess Juliana, St. Martin, St. Martin. And I guess I didn't realize how mountainous that island is <laughs> until I've approached from here. Because normally when we go here, we approach from here and do the VOR approach, which is a little offset. And then you don't see all these mountains because you're landing, right? So there's Princess Juliana, how beautiful is that? We will go along the Caribbean, along all those mountains there. Whoops. And then after we make our turn to the mountains, we go over the Amazon rainforest again. And then um, back and across and do some island hopping. So we've done a lot of sightseeing already in this video. So it's already like a complete video length and we have a long ways to go. It's only been 24 hours out of about 96. We only need 88 though to complete the achievement. But there's been a lot of sightseeing already because there's been a lot of interesting new things. In fact, this is probably the most beautiful section of the six or leg of the six in the whole project. But anyway, my point is we have a lot of ocean coming up. Um, ocean here and then after Brazil and stuff, Venezuela, Brazil. Argentina, Chile, we have islands, but ocean, 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 pretty much for the rest of the 96 hours. So you'll still get sightseeing. I'll still give you quick updates every 24 hours or so, but it's going to go faster because it's just going to be mostly water. So enjoy the next 24 hours of sightseeing condensed into just a few minutes. Enjoy Princess Juliana as we about turn and fly away, and I'll see See you in 24 hours for me and just a moment for you. It's a little early for our 48 hour update, but I wanted to do an update now anyway, because this is the only time we're going to see land for like the next 24 hours or so. We're going to go by a few like teeny tiny polka dot islands, but it'll be dark. So we're not going to see land until the next update, probably if even then. So here we are Falkland Islands, um, Southeast of South America. And the concern right now is that our performance is just 
Ronald Reagan. And even a few hours ago when I was watching this sim, we had no weather. Well, there's always weather, right? Even clear skies is weather. So we had clear skies and just ocean for hours. And it was even worse than this, actually. So I don't know what decides to perform well and what doesn't. I thought maybe before it was weather and terrain, but even with, quote, no weather in ocean, it was worse a few hours ago. So who knows? But it doesn't matter because we're normally not going to be doing 48 hour, 72, 96 hour flights. Um, so it really doesn't matter ultimately, I guess. But this looks beautiful, even though we're getting like one frame per second, <laughs> which again, it's just the way it wants to behave right now. It's not me because, yeah, I'm going to shut up. Anyway, there you go. Falcon Islands, quite attractive to be honest. Nowhere to land though, even if you wanted to, I don't think. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a tiny airport there. Let's see. What does Sky Vector say? Sky Vector does have a teeny tiny, you know, a couple teeny tiny airports you can land at if you want to. Okay, anyway. Um, anything else to say in the update other than, yep, there's one right there. I can see it. Right there. Anyway, any other updates I can give other than a 48 hour update? Um, ocean, ocean, ocean. Pretty much the rest of the flight now we're gonna have ocean, ocean, ocean. Um, we do not need 83 more hours, so we're not going to make it to Hawaii. So, when our 96, well, we only need 88 hours total. So that, you know, we're halfway there, but actually less than, more than halfway there. Um, when it does come time to fulfill our thousand hours, we might just end the flight or we might land at the closest airport, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, otherwise, that's a very quick update for you. So we're going to head out to the ocean, I'm going to give you some sightseeing here and there, and then next time you hear my voice is 72 hours, which is another day for me, only a few moments for me for you, unless something interesting happens in between. See you then. Okay, I'm back already, and it says seven minutes because I restarted the sim. It got so bad after we left Falcon Islands that it was like one frame every four seconds. So I restarted the sim, and there's actually an update, like a hot fix. It was like 700 megs. I don't know what was in it. I'll have to read about it later. Um, I also noticed there were huge updates to the world updates, but I'm going to do that later. It's like 10 gigs or something. I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, we're smooth. They're Falcon Islands. So the video previous not previous video previous section of sightseeing ended right here so we started the sim we took off from that airport spun around i made it morning just so that we'd have more daylight to work with and then there you go it's perfectly smooth so in fact the weather now that it's updated is more compute than before so anywho nothing else to say other than i just wanted to let you know that i did restart the sim and our performance has returned and it's ocean, ocean, ocean. I did put a flight plan back in. So we've got 20 hours to South Africa. <laughs> and then another leap. Remember, we can go up along South Africa, along Madagascar before we head over the ocean again. So I'm also going to fly 10,000 feet just because when I hastily re put in the flight plan again, we're going over some mountains that we weren't going to go over before. So there you go. A little bit sightseeing, and I'll see you at 72 hours, unless something else exciting happens, you never know.
And just like that, it's time for our 72 hour update as we fly along Madagascar on our way to Fox Shop Mike, Mike Sierra, then over to Cocos, and then Australia. And then we'll probably end this, not only this lake, but this entire project of a thousand hours somewhere over Australia tomorrow. Tomorrow, my time. Only a couple minutes for you, but not a whole lot to say other than I was really, really looking forward to seeing the high mountains here. They're actually higher than we are flying, but clouds rolled in. I saw them in the distance for the past like hour or so. I'm like, oh cool, that's gonna be a great thing to look at. You can kind of see the bump here. And then all of a sudden, storms rolled in and now I can't see them, but that's okay. We'll do a Madagascar trip another time in the future. Uh, not much to say. Performance is still really good after another 24 hours, and that's because we rebooted the sim after 48 hours. And everything is good, everything's been fine. Um, I timed it so that my big ocean trip was overnight, or not overnight, over day when I was working. So now that it's evening after dinner in real life or so, I kind of joined right here and I've been watching it for a while. So um, this ocean will go overnight and then during the workday for me, and then after work tomorrow, we will finish the project. So not much more to say at this moment. You'll get a little bit more sightseeing. We only need 88 hours, which is only another, I don't know, was that 16 hours or so um, to finish the project. But I'm not going to get to the sim until after work tomorrow night in real life. So we're going to be overnight. Actually, we're going to be like 98 hours by the time I get to the sim to wrap up the project so we'll be well over a thousand we'll check the profile in the sim to make sure we recorded all 1000 i don't expect the achievement to trigger at a thousand because it didn't trigger for 500 until i reached 600 hours so but anyway getting ahead of myself i'm just enjoying this river coming through so there's madagascar enjoy a little bit of sightseeing although there won't be much because it's going to be mostly ocean now until I jump back in after a quick edit and it'll magically be a thousand hours completed in The Sims. See you in just a moment and we'll wrap this up.
And just like that, we're at 90, 6, 5, 4, 94 hours. We only needed 88 to get 2,000, so it should be well over 1,000 hours right now. We'll check in a moment by looking at the profile page. But first, we have to end this flight. Oh, the moon is rising over the east horizon. Indonesia is over there. Australia is ahead of us and to the south. Can't see it, of course. Let's look at the map, see what's going on. And um, I was hoping we could maybe land the plane instead of just end the flight. We could just end the flight right now and we'd be done. Well, let's see if we can land somewhere. Let's see how far away Watt is. If it's too far away, like, then we won't do it. But let's, um, let's, whoops, let's not do that. Let's, um, back out of this because they screwed up. There we go. Let's, where are you here? Um, why isn't this working? It was working earlier. Did I break my GPS? Uh-huh. I can't even get out of it now. Look at this. Okay, here we go. There we go. I don't know what he did, but let's um let's make it say Watt W A T T. And let's just see how far away it is. It is Well it's still an hour and a half. I don't really want to fly for another hour and a half. I really don't have time. Is there anything closer? I don't think so. Oh, what's this water? Let's see how far away water is. That's an hour 20. That didn't change anything. All right, well, we're just going to end the flight then because I don't... Yeah, okay. All righty, well, let's just end the flight. See if we got to 1,000 hours. And there we go, 1,007 hours. You see it for yourselves. Today is December 22nd, 2023. So this was recorded over a month ago. That's how far ahead I still am on videos. So who knows what's happened between recording this and you watching it, but there you go. Before Christmas, I got it done. 1,000 hours. Question is, do we have the achievement? Because the 500-hour achievement took 600 hours to get it. So let's see, 1,007 hours. You see for yourself. Let's check the achievement. Let's go down here, check achievements. And what does it say? It worked. Look at that. Bam, 1,000-hour achievement. So that was less bug than Journeyman. So there you go. Every single achievement has been done. Although we've had all the achievements done except for these final two. They've all been done for um, since right after I got the sim. So they've been done for a couple years. But there you go. Alrighty. That's all we needed, right? That was the whole point of this project. It was a fun project. I'm glad it's done, though. I wasn't totally comfortable leaving my sim running for 96 hours at a time every time so i'll do 96 reboot 96 reboot and not like that <laughs> but now what's next well by the time you watch this either the caribbean update is already out or it's going to be out soon which means bush trips which i think are going to be way more beautiful than i'm anticipating so that's good um any f subscriber requests that came up between december and the end of january those will be done soon whatever came up and whatever else I feel like flying. At the time of this recording, I do not have any more projects or series planned. So maybe it's just going to be a whole bunch of one-off flights. Who knows? Make sure you subscribe so you find out what's happening when I find out what's happening. Hit the like button to play the algorithm game. And I'll see you next time.